Hey, before we start this video, I have to tell you something. According to YouTube Analytics, the the people who are watching my videos watch it for a, around one minute and thirty seconds. I pour out to I I really much pour out my effort into editing the, these videos more so than recording them. So please uh, watch vi watch some of my videos for the whole duration. I don't know, there could be like a little quiz I might pop out to that contains answers from my- that contains things from my videos. I'm not saying that is going to happen, but it could happen, and so... I want you to watch the whole duration of any video, let alone this one. Alright, uh, we'll take it back to Rytube 34 from when the DLC came out. Rytube 34 here. And today is the release day for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, the Teal Mask. Wave 1 of the DLC for the Treasure of Area Zero. So, I have... I'll admit that I have beaten the entirety of Pokemon Scarlet, excluding the DLC, before I decided to consider making a YouTube video. So, uh, I'm going to go into this with only two psychic types by my side. Anyways, let's uh, get the switch ready and uh, let's go. I'm pretty sure I'm going to get a phone call like right now in the game. So, I'll just let it play out and we'll actually start. Oh, Mr. Jacques. Hi, Mr. Jack. Sorry to bother you while you're probably searching for some nice treasure. You see, we have a school trip every year around this time. There's a special collaboration between our academy and another school. And will you believe it? Your, your name was one of the chosen to attend the trip. You'll go study the great outdoors off the east in the land of Kitakami. Uh... Disclaimer, apparently that is named after a real location in Japan. So I don't know if uh, now the Pokemon world is tied to the real world, but that's a story that a conspiracy theorist will later explain. Get on the theory, game theory. We need results. And hopefully a game theory video that I'll enjoy. You know what, we'll just bring these two. I know that Eternatus is not a psychic type, but uh, I'm not gonna care. And uh, we're going to go over here. Aha, with the update comes names for the location you're in. In the map. Anyways. Um, I'm pretty sure this person will be important for uh, part two, the Indigo Disc, which is not out yet, which is going to come in the winter time. You're one of the students chosen for the school trip, aren't you? And your name was... YTube34, man. Well, aren't you a polite one? You're positively dazzling. Oh, and you even have a tarot orb. You guess Paldea is rich enough in resources that sort of thing to be come inside at school. Unless if that's not the case. Are you perhaps a special student? Oh, here I go on and I haven't introduced myself yet, huh? Call me... Miss Briar, I'm sorry I'm late. What a coincidence, Mr. Jacques was about to tell us her name. Oh, hello to you too, Right234. What a lucky, what a lucky one you are, getting to take part in the school trip so soon after transferring here. I'm sure happy for you. Well, it's Mr. Jacques Coke. <laughs> yep, I can't talk. Well, as Mr. Jacques so kindly stated for me, my name is Briar. I'm a teacher over at Blueberry Academy. Once again, part two. That's a school in the Unova region. Oh. Bit of Generation 5 action! <laughs> wow! Gonna go to Unova. 
This year, it's Blueberry Academy's turn to run our joint school trip and supervise all the students. That's why I'm here to collect you. We'll be heading to Kate Economy, a land known for its... ...picturistic... ...fields and rice patties. The rice, uh, had the rice has a rustic feel. <laughs> Uh, I'm not used to speaking during recording. The place has a rustic feel, but there's also something rather mysterious about it. You see, the same energy present in Paldea's terrestrial phenomena has been detected there. I'm hoping to do some digging into the matter myself in between my supervising duties. Though I'd also appreciate the chance to take a good look around the, cra the great crater of Paldea. Part 2. I guess, well, there's not much I can do about that without permission from the Pokemon League and Director Clavel. Uh, I know. I've already put in all the proper applications. I trust that I'll get a favorable response soon. I hear you were chosen... ...for the trip by... LOTTERY?! Huh? Okay, I'm familiar with the whole lottery system scenario in Honkai Star Rail, but lottery... D oh wait, she means raffle, right. I know my rule is to chaperone you around, but I fully intend to have some fun on my own. While I'm at it, just so you're aware. By the way, do you know of the Scarlet Book? Uh... Funny story, it's gone now. <laughs> mm. So that really did not age well. Oh wait, right. I forgot that there's a copy of it here. As you should. It was the most influential book of the century of the subject of the paranormal. The author of this girl book, Heath, was a, in fact an, an ancestor of mine. I even have his original manuscript. These are all the pages that blacked out and made it illegible in the published version. Recording. Yes, that's a constant thing that can happen on my channel, so don't mind that. All separated from the research team in the crater steps, I found a strange entity. I know if it was a whether if it was a Pokemon or alive at all, I knew nothing of it. It bore a shell with layers of overlapping hexagons and gleamed brighter still than gemstone. Viewed as a whole, it resembled a mysterious brilliant disc. Part two once again. I have tentatively you have named this creature Terrapagos. I suggest. I said. Bleh. I suspect its very body is made up of the key material that causes the Pokemon to shine crystally. Shine crystally. If I stutter throughout the whole video, I'm so sorry. The Pokemon depicted on these pages is called Terrapagos. It's a mysterious type of Pokemon that Heath allegedly encountered when he delved further into the depths of Area Zero. Not that the general public believed him, any, but uh, that's a story for another time. It's my dream to find Tarapagos and prove that Heath's records were all tr were all true. Well, I got two Master Balls in my pat in my back pocket, though I haven't been able to secure permission into Area Zero, unfortunately. That's fine, it'll all be fine. All I need to do is now focus on the work that's in front of me. Miss Breer, we're ready to go. Looks like the gang's all here. Alright everyone, to the land of Kitakami. Oh, you know it's good when there's a trademark in the game. <laughs> Teal Max. And here we are. And we haven't lost anyone along the way. And there's four people. How can we lose anyone? Well, I guess my game abruptly closing could be one of the things. 
and welcome to the land of Kirkami. This is the stage for all the new experiences and learning opportunities you'll have out in nature. Whoop, uh, Goto and Whooper and Yanma. It's my act it's actually my first time here too. Why the rice fields look just dazzling? Up ahead is Mozui Town. That'll be our base of operations to, for the duration of the trip. Here we are. The first frame drop of the DLC adventure. This, look! There's one now! Immediately just makes a mad dash for it. So, you're the one of the students who came from the Paldeo region, huh? Oh, way cool. Oh, I'm Carmine. Sorry, they, but I can't just let an outsider like you wander into Mozui Town. If you insist on coming in, you'll have to battle me first. Please don't have anything that's good against Psychic. Come on, sis, you just want to battle. Making this big fuss over nothing. I agree. I told you to hush, Kiki! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, the sudden change in expression, huh? <laughs> oh, that was unexpected. <laughs> All right. Okay. Please do not have anything that's good against psychic. Nothing good against psychic. Nothing good against psychic. Nothing good against psychic. Nothing good against. Against psychic, nothing good against psychic. Please, 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 please. Oh, uh, what level is this? Okay, that's not that bad of a level. Uh, just, uh... Just get the thing out of here with the quick thunderbolt. Uh, switching to Eternatus here. <clears throat> so, uh, Eternatus is a, legend is a legendary Pokémon from, uh, the Generation 8 games. So... Yeah. This is really zoomed out. Uh Yeah, that's gonna hit. Oh, it's not a grass type. Oh. Vulpix. Uh I'll switch back down into Raichu. Hmm. Our first piece of damage in the in the land of Kitakami comes from chip damage from burning chip damage. <laughs> well, how unfortunate for her. Uh, what's her name? Oh yeah, Carmine. Who are you? <laughs> Okay. Well, the sudden change in expression made me laugh, and I can't get over that. And, uh... Also, the fact that an upcoming character in Hunkai Star Rail looks like an Espeon. I can't believe it. There's no way you should have been able to beat me. Since I've got no choice, I'll let you into this town, but only if you become one of my grunts and do every little thing I... You shut up! Not interested in that. Oi, what are you doing? Your cousin Ruck is out here. Here comes trouble. Come on, Kiki, we're out of here. But I... Uh, wait up, sis! Uh, sorry about that. Why, hello there, stranger. You must be one of the students from that Paldean Academy, right? I help run the community center here in Mosui Town. And a fair few other things besides. 
I'll be looking after ye group during your visit. My first time doing a Scottish accent, by the way. I hope these two kids weren't giving you any grief now. Well, I... Well, I think one of them inadvertently uh, uh, caused grief to themselves. Because... She's, uh... Very astonished at the fact that, uh... I beat her easily. And, uh... She... Thinks that uh, sh I wasn't doing that good, even though I had a freaking legendary for Christ's sake. But uh, anyway, yeah, that's the story. What's that? A member of your group fell ill down by the bus stop? It's a classic case of motion sickness, so it might not be that bad. I better go down there and give him a hand so that I can make it into town. I don't know what accent I'm doing anymore. I'll take care of everything. You go ahead and uh, get yourself settled at the community center. We'll catch up with you soon. The next day. Morning, everyone. Did you sleep well? Starting today, you'll be joined by your two friends from. Uh, <clears throat> you'll be joined by your two students from Blueberry Academy. Come on, kids. Time to introduce yourselves. Hi, I'm Carmine. It's a pleasure to meet you. You visitors, I mean, I am uh, a character that stutters in the game causes me to stutter more. It's a pleasure to meet you. Uh, this is the see. It's a pleasure to meet to you all. You visitors from Paldea. <laughs> I'm Kieran. Carmin and Kieran actually grew up here, so ask them help if you need anything. And you two had better be of real help, you hear me? Aye aye. Right. First we'll uh, have you to split you into pairs, then each pair will be tasked with finding three signboards located around the land of Kitakami. On each signboard, you'll find snippets of an old folk tale passed down here in Kitakami. Read them all and uh, l learn about uh, our home. To prove you've completed each task, we ask that each pair take a snapshot together in front of the signboards with their phone or camera. Phones have cameras, dude. Take a photo here in front of each of the three signboards to complete your mission. It's a self-guided toy of Kitakami. Oh, and I've got a gift for each of you as well. Selfie stick. Yes. I hear these things roll rage in big cities. Use them when you take these photos. Bro, in Mesa Goza, we did not have this. Our music's kinda good. Oh crap, this is a banger! Bowsers, I can't believe this. I got to battle with you. This is awesome. Sorry, I can't hear you. Your your music is way too good. Oh, Yanma is weak against electric. I got this. Electro ball. You got this, Yanma. Buzz those wings. Uh... Oh, it's faster. Dragon Pulse. There we go. Huh. 
Oh, so you sure are strong. Uh, say that to Eternatus. Girls aren't half bad. Kiki's nearly as strong as I am, you know. I don't know about that. The orienteering thing, we're supposed to group up in pairs, right? Should go ahead and pair up with Kiki then. So it looks like uh, we should probably start with the signboard at Loyalty Plaza. That's our pa that's our pa that's out past the apple orchards on the west side of the village. Let's go spy. And I uh, figured if it might make sense, you know, visit them more on order. Okay. I was about to ask, how do I get Deplin? Is it just like is there a no? That's an awakening. Come on. And the Terrastal Pokemon is an Applin. Okay. Well, makes sense because uh, Diplin is one of the new, the new Pokemon. That's the first signboard. Uh, so, oh, sorry, did I Charlie? Charlie? I didn't mention that I'd hang back and follow you here. I'm sorry, he didn't mention. We're supposed to read the signboard, right? I already took a picture of it. I already know the whole story. You, you, go ahead, you should check that out. Long, long ago, there was a fearsome ogre in the land of Kitakami. The ogre made its home in the mountain behind the village, frightening all who ventured there. One day, the ogre came down from the mountain, terrible rage, causing great fear in the village. Ice, some stroke of luck, okie dogie, monkey dory, and pheasantipity all happen to be there as well. Three Pokemon laid down their lives to fend off the ogre and send it back to the mountain. In admiration, people of the loyal village bestowed upon the brave trio the loyal three. Their remains were given a proper burial in the statues of three were uh, built upon, 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 built above the site. Okay, so the loyal three are dead. The loyal three monument is over there. Don't you think the ogre and the folk tale kind of sounds cool? Uh, well, minor spoiler alert: ogre palm without the mask looks kind of cute. Uh, it, it kind of does, to be honest, but, uh... It was up against the three whole opponents at once, battling it all by, myself, by itself. Wow, well, that seems cool. But I guess people would just think an ogre like that is scary. I don't think there's any reason to be afraid. When I was little, I went up to the mountain so many times at night on my own, and I never met that ogre. The only scary thing that happened was the grown-ups giving me a real earful about it. Hmm. But yeah, we're supposed to take a photo in front of the signboard, right? I already did that. I don't have a smartphone. You, um... <laughs> it's been so long since I seen something like that happen in person. I was just not prepared for it. Wow. I turned out great. You wouldn't go to taking photos. Thanks. You wanna try? Oh no no no! I didn't mean uh, the no no no. Maybe maybe next time. That, that yeah maybe next time. You know I don't want to have to come uh, do the school school trip thing, but it actually be kind of fun. I got to be out in nature in my hometown and talk to you. If you want to, uh, maybe we could set up a Pikmin. A Pikmin <laughs> picnic. Uh, don't mind him. Some kind of kaiju. <laughs> <laughs> a kaiju! <laughs> uh, this is a specific type of Pokemon known as Koridon. It used to live back in the past. This one, this one is called Cory. It seriously comes out whenever it hears the word sandwich. Yeah. Loyal Three Monument. These three courageous Pokemon protected Mazui Town from destruction. They defeated the ogre that 
claim to attack the village at the cost of their own lines. Lines. Lives! Their remains were laid to rest with the people's respect below the fairy statues. Block convenience tells me that they're not dead! I uh, just... I could just... I'm not gonna listen to Kieran and uh, take the regular path that way. I'm just going to go up the hills. Hang on. I sequence break this. Can I catch Ogre Pond early? I already have one Master Ball. So, this could be uh, easy. Only is small. What's that? Oh, it's just a land it. Yeah. Ah, that's a Magikarp. Alright, and then just... Oh. Uh, Timber, uh, Bonsley, uh, none of these seem to Oh, that's a Pichu. Yeah, I already have a Pichu. So... Uh, any Pokemon I don't find is ones that I don't want or don't think are good enough. Kitakami Hall, here we are. da 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 uh, so, Giren's gonna come here again. But Ogre Pond is on the top of the mountain. It's tricky to find. It, it's it's a bit tricky to find the second signboard, huh? Uh, sorry, I'm falling at a distance, so I hope you can get used to me showing you up like this. Now well, then, let's read the sign. The Ogre Oh, the ogre possessed four mysterious glimmering masks. That I already know. It is said that depending on the mask the ogre donned, the powers of its cudgel would change. When wearing the mask, it could bring life back into withered greenery around it. When wearing the crimson mask, it could turn a candle's flame into a raging inferno. When wearing the blue mask, it could stop the flow of a very it could stop the very flow of a river. When wearing the ashen gray mask, it, it could easily break the hardest stone in two. Well, we're using all those fancy contraptions to to break bedrock in Minecraft. We could just have Ogre Pond do it for us. Before the loyal three fell, rested away three of the ogres, greatly weakened. Did you read it? Yeah. Masks of the loyal three stole the the masks that the loyal three stole are kept over at Kitakami Hall. Everyone in the town is scared of the ogre, but me and me, I kind of like it. It was strong and cool and. Didn't even care when everyone shunned it. I've always wanted to be like that ever since I was a kid. I want to try and get stronger so I can do things for myself, you know? I'm gonna become uh, someone people can rely on. And just maybe I could uh, be that ogre's friend. Oh, right, you're right, right. Picture, we're supposed to take a picture. You can take the next one too if you don't mind. Okay. <laughs> what is that pose I'm doing? What's that pose I'm doing? <laughs> okay, the pose that I'm doing is kinda creeping me out a little bit, not going to lie. Ignore the whole part about the passages and stuff. What's that? I just found that Bonsley. I, I'm pretty sure I just saw that Bonsley. Uh, who needs directions when you have Karidon with you? Right, and we're here. I landed right on the cutscene. There it is, the dreaded den. This is supposed to be the ogre's home. At least that's what everyone says. I came here all the time, but I've never seen it. 
Maybe a powerful ogre would only show up if it heard some kind of battle going on. Good point. Alright. Yeah. Mm, yeah, you're the did a number on my ride show. I'll give it all I got. I got this. Yeah, this song bops. His sentient already evolved! Well, I mean, uh, I should have expected that. This time, I'll put up a good fight. Yeah, I should have brought more Pokemon, not gonna lie. Charge at him with everything you got! Take down. Boy! Uh, come on with a weak move. Yanma, again. Don't just one attack! Oh man, it did so much damage. Special attacks for when we one-shot the Pokemon. <laughs> Nice! Oh man, I lost. Watch your head. Ow! Ow! <laughs> See how dark it is in here? And cramped. And the floor is a rough and uneven. With my brightness sightings, I can't even see it. Living alone in a place like this will get you will get pretty miserable, wouldn't you think? Eh. Poor ogre. We have plenty of room at our house. I would have totally let it stay with us. Uh, <laughs> what can I move in? Uh, no. I'm just gonna tell him that he's sweet. What kind of meme option is that? Not, it's just I've always liked the stories about the ogre, that's all. But if the ogre really did show up to stay at our place, I'm sure the whole town would freak. Yeah, I'm pretty sure nobody in Paldea would mind. I almost forgot, today's the first day of, of the Festival of Masks over at Kitakami Hall. This big event is this big event where everyone puts on, on masks and runs around celebrating. And it's not like you got it go or anything, but if you wanted to know, check it out. Oh, well, that'd be fun. Uh, yeah, it does sound fun. I could show you to it. It'd be great to go together. There's just a few things we have to get ready for, so we should hide my house before heading to the festival. I live in the northwest corner of the village. Uh, if I can maybe draw a map. Uh. Oh, your Rotom phone has a map at it, pin it, huh? I feel like most phones do nowadays. Want me to register it on your map? I could give it a try. Bowser's, oh, it's, it sure is handy having a map that shows you everything right there on your phone. I, I'm gonna ask if I can get a Rotom, Rotom phone someday too. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. I'd be right behind you. I'm going ahead to my family's place first. See right there. Um, wasn't there a Pokemon Center nearby? Oh, the flying taxi surface has an opt owl. That's nice. New TMs. You can now filter for learnable moves. The variety of TMs you can produce has been increased. This is the TMM. Filter for learnable moves. Uh, uh, what Pokemon, uh, can Eternatus learn? Uh, 
Oh, there we go. Alright. Hmm. Grandpa, I'm home! Welcome home, Kieran. And who's this with you? Uh, this is Raichu34. He's part of the same school trip as me and Sis. Oh, so this is a friend of new. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a new friend of yours, huh, Kieran? Hmm, <laughs> I sure I am. Oh, really? We're friends? I feel tingly and funny hearing that. <laughs> Thank you for befriending our Kieran here, right 34 Oh, Kieran's made a friend? Yeah, this is right 34 right 34 this is my grandma. Oh, fancy that, a friend of Kieran's. We're delighted to have you. Oh my, is it already sundown? Goodness me, I nearly forgot. The Festival of Masks starts tonight, doesn't it? Come now, Kieran. You too, right, 234. I'll get up some Jinbei for both of you so that you can go to the festival all guised up. We get to dress up in uh, Jinbei! Yay! Oh! <laughs> it's you mighty fine. Just as I thought I- just as I thought it would. Hell, I don't like hair. Goodness, it's like I've gained another grandson. <laughs> Oh! Wow. I imagine a stylish young thing like yourself could make use of this, too. Yay, we got a style card! Having that card should open up all sorts of new looks for you at the big city shops and salons. Hey, granted, do you know where my... No, oh, what are you doing here? I do 34 said uh, he'd go to the Festival of Masks with me. Oh, really? Is that so? What's the matter anyway? Where, what are you doing back here? I couldn't find my mask for the festival. Well, I don't have a mask! Oh, the masks? They should be in the shed. I put them after last year's festival. It's gonna be locked, so you could go have a rummage and see what you find. Alright, to the shed! First one never wins! Wait, sis! Hmm. If I had a relatable moment... Please forgive those two, that can be a bit rambunctious. Imagine if we find one of uh, Ogre Pond's masks in there. Alright, gotta go to the shed. Uh, uh there's gotta be another one. This, right to 34 is here. Rolling up here like you are in the place. It looks like there are only two masks in the shed. Too bad, right? There's nothing I can do about it. Guess it'll uh, have to do without a mask, huh? First come, first served, and all that. Okay. Then I could just buy a mask, I guess. Come on now, don't look so glum. How about instead of a uh, mask, can I give a battle in style? <laughs> Yeah, I'm skipping this whole battle. Hey, you're supposed to be enamored and distracted by my festival style. Okay, there's an implication there. And good thing I avoided it. Oh, well, it's not like beating me was gonna make cause another massacre magically appear. I know. Hold on, let me get my email. Monkey Dory mask. How's that? Look good, don't look good, don't I? It's okay, you can just wear my mask. But no, I already said it's first come, first serve. What do you not understand, Dukar the uh, 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 Kieran? <laughs> Besides, that's your Oroger mask. You always love that mask. Yeah, but no, uh, but it's about it. He can just get his own mask at the festival. I was in fact planning on doing that anyways. Uh, sorry about that. 
I know my sis seems kind of harsh, but she's really not all that bad. Because she was standing the shadow part, trying to find a third mask for you before you got there. Oh, but don't tell her I told you that. The festival of masks is held up by Kaido Kami Hall. We should probably get going. Yeah, time zones don't exist. Wait a second, can I- I can fast travel to the... Hirikami... Hall. Oh. Um, nah, hang on. Alright, we're here and, uh, time to bring out, uh, a Pokemon that, uh, has a mask. Hello, Arctos. Alright, uh... Up this way. It's kind of slow at climbing up the stairs. For a Pokemon that uses its psychic powers to fly, I assumed that it would have been faster. The capture card froze again! What the heck?